Well, back to our Eagles championship coverage now as Eastern Washington's band is getting ready to meet the players in Frisco, Texas. In fact, they're flying out of Spokane International Airport right now. And KXY4's Eric Loney is with Loney is there with them live. I know you had a chance to talk to the band yeah. earlier. They're super excited, huh, Eric? Yeah, they're all ready to go. I mean, they've never got to travel with the football team before, so this is a unique experience for them and also unique for the university to be in a national title game. The 737 is almost loaded up. They're going through uh, security right now. A few more people left to, to go through. This is Jeremy and Madison, two seniors in the band. And Are you guys excited to go, and, and why? Uh, absolutely. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to go through college and get to travel with your team. Yeah. Have, you got, have you guys done anything like this before? I mean, you guys don't get to travel normally, do you? No, I've actually never traveled with a band before, so I think it's really cool to be able to go to Texas for a day and, you know, play, support our team. Yeah. Our and it's school. going to be a quick trip. You're down to this morning, back today. Do you have any idea what you're going to be doing when you get down there? Uh, just playing the whole time. We're not going to stop. <laughs> playing Practice, straight through, yeah. <laughs> yeah, rehearse, play the game, go home. Yeah. And how do you think the team's going to do? I think they're going to do awesome. I mean, we've done well this whole time, so I mean, I'm really hoping we win. All right. What do you think? Yeah, we've been awesome the whole time. They've been a lot better than they have in past years, so hopefully yeah. we go for the win. With your help, then maybe they'll do that. Yeah. All right. Madison, Jeremy, thanks very much. You guys are getting on the airplane. Plane's taking off at 6 o'clock, headed to Dallas-Fort Worth. Well, the game will be this afternoon. The, the band will play in like a tailgate, uh, almost competition against the Delaware band, and then they'll play at halftime as well, as along with when the team comes on the field and, and throughout much of the game. So quite a whirlwind trip for them. Nadine, Mike? Oh, but the experience yeah, of a lifetime. Yeah, they'll be going on adrenaline. That is Thanks, just Eric. so cool. Well, Eastern Eagle fans, they scooped up the school's allotment of 1,000 tickets for tonight's matchup with Delaware. Many students left earlier in the week for the long 1,500-mile road trip from Cheney to Frisco. Oh. I think it's 12 hours altogether, sitting in the airports and flying, so it should be a good time. We're crazy, but aren't crazy fans the best kinds of fans? I mean, really. It's fair. Isn't that Good the point. kind of fan you want? The that's crazy one that's going to drive 30 hours to watch you play? Well, that's Melanie Duggan uh, says she and her friends made the trip nonstop, only allowing brakes to fill up the gas tank and trade drivers. Wow. And that amounts to roughly 30 <laughs> hours oh in the car. Goodness. I wonder if they, they're going to be friends after that oh, trip. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you really get to know your friends yeah. that way, don't you? Frisco, by the way, is an affluent suburb just uh, north of Dallas. It was the fastest growing city in the U.S. in 2009 with just more than 30,000 residents. And some of the city's biggest employers are T-Mobile, the cellular telecommunications company, and IKEA, the median family income, just over $100,000.